Dear friends, today we are discussing about uh, an important feature of the history of Heian period. This subject is the cloister government. Question arises, what is this cloister government? Cloister stands for a secluded place. This secluded place used to be used by the emperor as a religious place for worship of the ancestral gods of Japan. In this worship, the emperor prayed to the Japanese gods for the well-being, welfare, happiness, and prosperity of the Japanese people, his public. This secluded place came to be used also to govern the country by the emperors. Question arises, why this secluded religious place was used to govern the country? and not the imperial court. Here, the reason lies in the strategies adopted by the Fujiwara clan, which came to power, which came to dominate the government machinery during Heian period, particularly the ninth century. Fujiwara clan established its hold on all the important positions of the government, maybe the ministry or the bureaucracy. Fujiwara clan, not satisfied just with this domination, tried to increase its political and administrative power. They advised or persuaded the emperor to retire from the active administration of the country and lead a life of retirement to take rest, to relax and worship for the happiness of the people at large. They requested, they suggested, as far as the worldly affairs, the state affairs were concerned, Fujiwara people, his humble servants, would take care of all the responsibilities of all the administrative problems, and the emperor need not worry about it. On their persuasion, the emperor accepted their suggestion and they took early retirement from the active administration. In their place, the Fujiwara clan appointed the young crown prince, who was still in his teens. Now, the young emperor became only a titular head and the real emperor of the country started leading his life in isolation, a secluded place. This secluded place is called cloister and the government that he was running from this place came to be known as cloister government. This cloister government in Japanese terminology is called Insei. In stands for secluded place and Se stands for government. This secluded place was within the premises of the imperial palace. Not satisfied with this, the Fujiwara clan further tried to increase their power 
and influence over the emperor by establishing matrimonial relations with the imperial family. Fujiwara clan gave their attractive beautiful daughters in marriage to the emperor and also whenever the situation permitted they accepted daughters from the imperial family in, in marriage. Emperor Shomu. Traditionally the empresses were expected to belong to the royal family only. But Emperor Shomu married the third daughter of Fujiwara leader Fubito. In course of time, this lady became Empress Kanyo. Sometime later, Fujiwara leader Yoshi Fusao, he married the daughter of Emperor Saga. And because of this relationship, he was appointed as regent for the Emperor Seiwa, who was just nine years old at that time. Incidentally, Emperor Seiva was the first child emperor to be put under the guidance or regency of Yoshifusa, who was not of a royal blood, but he was a Fujiwara leader. Later, Yoshifusa's successor, Motosune, came to be appointed as regent. Now, he was the regent for Emperor Yose. During the minority period of Yose, he continued to rule the country, govern the country as regent. Later, he became the Kampaku, the civil administrator of the country. Matrimonial relations between the imperial family and the Fujiwara clan continued quite for a long time. The Fujiwara daughters were accepted in the imperial family and the climax reached when Fujiwara no Michinaga got his four daughters accepted as consorts of four emperors successively and also they became the empress. Their three sons, Go Ichijo, Go Suzaku and Reisei, they became emperors in course of time. In a way, the Fujiwara clan was at the hem of affairs. All the political administrative issues were decided and finalized by the Fujiwara clan. They exploited this situation. The appointments were totally controlled by the Fujiwara clan. And the worst situation came when the Fujiwara leaders started getting tax-free lands from the government one after another. These tax-free tax lands later came to be known as showing. These tax-free tax -free lands were quite vast, quite big, for which the leaders, the owners of these lands were not expected to pay any tax to the government. With the passage of time, Fujiwara leaders were able to occupy almost three-fourths of the total territory of Japan as tax-free lands. Obviously, this 
adversely affected the revenues of the government. The misuse of power also resulted in discarding or ignoring the responsibilities by the Fujiwara bureaucrats. It so happened that Japan developed friendly relations with the Tang Empire of China. And when these friendly relations developed, the Japanese government started feeling that there was no possibility, there was no chance of any foreign invasion. And here started the disregard of the military establishment. The expenditures which used to be made for the military establishment, maintenance of the soldiers and their equipment. These, ex these uh, budgets went down, were curtailed, and hardly any money was spent for the military establishment, resulting in defense weakness of the country, police system, police arrangements, which were partly managed by the soldiers, the police system also declined. With the decline of the police system, obviously the law and order situation developed in the country. There were frequent cases of theft, bribery, robbery. There were cases of thefts even in the imperial palace. This all was, this all happened because of the weak financial condition of the government, which has, which had resulted from the increasing showing system in Japan. When the financial condition was going down, educational standards of the country, of the people, also declined. A famous writer of that time, Kino Surayuki, has commented that the Fujiwara leaders, they were indulging in unnecessary expenses. They were rather making to show off of their properties, their palaces. Unnecessary buildings were constructed palaces were constructed, too much money was spent on costumes, which was not necessary. During Heian period, of course, certain writers created good literary works like Genji Monogatari and Kusa Makurano Soshi, etc. But then, during the later period, of uh, Heian, these academic standards came down. Not able to uh, continue with the financial needs of the country, the Fujiwara leaders started selling the public offices. Appointments were made on the basis of financial or financial strength of the candidate concerned. Bribes became quite frequent in the administration. Power and influence of the Fujiwara clan started declining. And now came a natural change in the political situation of the country. The Fujiwara ladies who were who had joined the imperial families family as consorts time came when they were not able to deliver male child the empresses either died young or they had no male child this gradually put a break between 
the imperial family and the Fujiwara family. The blood relationship now was the strength of the blood relationship was declining. There was a breakdown of this relationship. Michinaga's sons, Yorimichi and Norimichi, they gave their daughters as consorts to the emperors, but none of them delivered a male child. And because of the misuse of power by the Fujiwara clan, the young emperors were also getting uneasy. The emperors who had abdicated on the advice of Fujiwara clan, they also started feeling uneasy about the condition of the country. Because of this blood relationship, there was a time when the regent of the young prince, the young emperor, was either his uncle or father-in-law or grandfather. It was because of this blood relationship that the Fujiwara clan was able to establish its stronghold over the administration. And they were also able to exploit and misuse their power. Time came when these young emperors who were titular heads, they started feeling uneasy about the deteriorating financial condition of the country military establishment, law and order situation, educational standards of the country. The senior, the abdicated emperors also were feeling uneasy about it and they wanted to find some solution of this problem. The solution was given when it came as a natural solution that the Fujiwara consorts, empresses, they were not able to deliver male child or they died young. Fujiwara Michinaga's sons, Yorimichi and Norimichi, they gave their daughters as consorts to the imperial family. But they were also not able to deliver any child. This resulted in in weakening the strength of the blood relationship between the imperial family, with the weakening of the overall administrative, financial, and other social conditions in the country, there developed intrigues and conspiracies in the imperial palace. The Fujiwara clan also came to be divided. There were different factions developed within the Fujiwara clan, which were most of the time conflicting with each other. Unhappy with the prevailing situation, Emperor Godaigo decided to take an initiative to free the imperial family and the government from the domination of Fujiwara clan. He decided to check the illegal activities, the illegal claims of the Fujiwara leaders regarding their tax-free lands. He established an office, record office, in Japanese as it was called Kirokujo. The role of this office was to scrutinize the uh, property related documents, the genuineness of those property related documents, how far they were reasonable. If not, they were all these showings, all these tax free lands were to be cancelled, their allotments were to be cancelled. Emperor Godaigo's attempt to curtail the power of Fujiwara clan lasted only for a few years, say about four years. This role was later taken over by Emperor Go Ichijo and then Emperor Go Shirakawa. 
but their attempts did not seem to be very successful because these landlords, the, the owners of the shrine, they were supported by certain Fujiwara leaders within the court. The emperor, emperor's uh, office, the record office, made its attempts. They tried to scrutinize the ownership documents. And when, they, when the landowners were asked to submit their claims, most of these people, most of these landowners, landowners were not able to submit their documents. But then at the same time, the central government was not able to enforce the laws to control these shoin. And uh, the number of the shoin continued increasing. Emperor Go Ichijo's policies in 1032 and Emperor Go Suzaku's policies in 1040 did not succeed. His second son, Emperor Go Sanjo further made his attempts to control the misuse of power by the Fujiwara family. His mother belonged to the royal blood and therefore he did not have any emotional touch or emotional feelings towards the Fujiwara family. He had no love, no respect for the Fujiwara clan and he decided to cut down, to curtail the power of the Fujiwara clan. Emperor Go Sanjo had uh, a feeling of uh, animosity and hatred to, towards Fujiwara clan. Because though he had been nominated as crown prince by his father Go Suzaku, his succession was uh, very strongly opposed by the regent Fujiwara no Yorimichi. And it was uh, only with the support of another Fujiwara leader, Yoshinobu, that Go Sanjo was able to come to the throne. Hereafter, Go Sanjo adopted policies which were strongly uh, attacking the interest of the Fujiwara family. Another situation which developed now was, as uh, it was suggested earlier, that uh, Fujiwara consorts were not able to deliver male child. And this happened in, this resulted in weakening the relationship between the imperial family and the Fujiwara clan. Now, the policies adopted by Emperor Go Sanjo further uh, attacked and crushed the financial and political power of the Fujiwara clan. With the passage of time, that the Shoins were increasing in number, the provincial landlords, Shoin owners, became very powerful. There were two clans gradually increasing their political power. They were Minamoto clan and Taira clan. And both claimed to be supporters, the protectors of the throne. And uh, against them, Fujiwara clan could not retain its power. It continues uh, losing its authority and power. After Emperor Go Sanjo, his successor, Emperor Go Shirakawa, started controlling the affairs, but he was uh, not successful either as a regal sovereign or as a titular head. And he was followed by Emperor Gotoba. Emperor 
Gotoba governed as Christchurch Emperor up till 1156. And uh, by that time, the Cloister government had also lost its credibility and its influence. The Fujiwara clan had been out of the political control and uh, that vacuum was filled up by cloister government. But with the rise of Taira and uh, Minamoto clans, having gained power and influence, the cloister government also gradually became weak and lost its significance. The cloister government was successful when the Fujiwara clan was not in real power. Cloistered emperors, they established their own court, administrative system. They appointed new bureaucrats and uh, while appointing these new bureaucrats, they were keen about the uh, capabilities, the merit of the new appointees. They saw to it that these people were not only meritorious, but also quite wealthy and prosperous, as they were able to help these cloistered emperors financially. Some of them were able to meet the financial needs of these clustered emperors. Among these uh, uh, newly appointed bureaucrats, there were some genius people also. For example, Oya Masafusa. He was a scholar of Confucianism. These bureaucrats, unlike the uh, Fujiwara people, they were not very rich. They belonged to the ordinary class of the people. But they were able to give a strong administration, an efficient administration to the country. Some of them were truly financial magnets. For example, Fujiwara Akitaka and Fujiwara Akisue. Fujiwara Ihinari was not only a rich magnet, but he was also a great genius in administrative matters. The cloistered emperors had developed a negative feeling towards Fujiwara clan, but they were not uh, totally against the rising or newly appointed uh, members of the bureaucracy. Fujiwara candidates in the bureaucracy. Those who were meritorious, they were given appointments from Fujiwara clan. However, the candidates coming from Minamoto clan were preferred in their appointments. The cross government lasted for about 70 years. It was a unique system that developed during the Heian period. This cloister government came into existence when the Fujiwara clan was too much misusing its authority and it came as a relief to the country and put an end to the misuse of power by the Fujiwara clan.